Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be discussing the success story of Mercedes Benz. When it comes to luxury automobiles, Mercedes Benz is probably the most recognized and celebrated names in the industry. Operated by Daimler Benz and headquartered in Stuttgart, Germany, this automobile giant is around for more than a century now. This was the same organization that is famed to start the modern day internal combustion engine which literally means that Mercedes Benz is the one who actually started the automobile. So how has this German giant become so celebrated today? In this video, we are going to find out just that since stay tuned till the end. Welcome to Schematic World, this is Shantan Mukherjee helping you how to grow yourself today. If you are new here and want to learn more on how to develop success abilities then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell notifications so that you never miss an update. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Benz Patent Motor Wagon is considered to be the first automobile which was built under the visionary founder Carl Benz back in 1886. Later on, down the timeline, Gottlieb Daimler along with the German engineer Wilhelm Maybach converted a stagecoach with a petrol engine to get rid of the horsepower transportation. It was to be noted that during this time, even though Benz and Daimler lived in South Germany, they never met or interacted in any forms. Back in 1886, when Benz launched his patent motor car, he used the slogan, a replacement for the horse to advertise it. These advertisements were necessary for Benz as he wasn't as popular or successful as Daimler. On the other hand, Daimler was also not as successful in his production which did not meet the beauty of Maybach's production through his joint company DMG. Daimler's design success was only recognized when businessman and automobile enthusiast Emil Jelinek bought his first Daimler car back in 1897. Jelinek was also thrilled by the automobile that he immediately requested a mass production of the car with Daimler and Maybach but insisted that the production will be under the brand name Mercedes which was the name of his daughter. Soon, in 1901, Mercedes became an impressive success in the market and the racing arena which eventually started the Mercedes era. With Benz's first creation in 1886 and Daimler's first in 1901 is what makes the modern day Mercedes. After being acquired by Benz and CIE, the company was renamed to being Daimler-Benz in the 1926. The first Mercedes was a lightweight, powerful and had a low center of gravity pumping out 35 brake horsepower at that time thus making the end of manufacturing carriages for automobiles. Miss only, the trademark DMG hailed the patent for the brand name Mercedes since 1902. The trademark was introduced thanks to the three-pointed star used by the sons of Daimler which was later incorporated by the father as the badge or symbol for the brand. Later on, in 1909, DMG management patented the three-pointed star alongside a four-pointed star but the three-pointed one was more adorned in the front of the radiator ever since 1910 in every Mercedes models. In 1926, when DMG and Benz and CIE decided to merge, the trademark for both the companies also merged as a result and thus name Mercedes and Benz was incorporated in the trademark connected to Laurel Welt. By the 1930s, the brand was made famous by Adolf Hitler who drove around in a bulletproof Mercedes back then. The automobiles became extremely famous during Germany's Nazi period and remained popular as well as strongly supported by their far from average clients. With that kickstart, the brand has always been identified as a symbol of high quality, class, cutting edge engineering, luxury and sheer brilliance. Today, the brand is involved in the production of not only automobiles but buses, trucks and even coaches. To summarize, like the slogan for the brand reads, the best or nothing. 
is quite true when you consider that this very brand today rivals the topmost German automobile manufacturers being alongside the lies of Audi and BMW thus forming the German Big 3. Well, that is all for the day and I hope you learned something new. If you did, then let me know down in the comments below why do you think Mercedes-Benz is so successful today. Also, check out my other videos linked here on the end screen. And with that, I shall take my leave and I shall see you in the very next one. Thank you.